Well, hi ho Stampers, Deb Velder here, your fun Stampers Journey Coach. Today I want to show you a really simple card that you can do for the holidays and mass produce. It's just a cute little Charlie Brown Christmas card. I love it. All right, so let me just show you what's involved. Let me start with the stamp sets. So the Merry Christmas came from a stamp set called Herald Angels. I use this quite a bit, that little saying right there, and um, you've seen me use this stamp set also. So the Merry Christmas came from Herald Angels, and then we have the Christmas tree, which comes from the stamp set called Nature Trees. And it's kind of a three season stamp set. It's um, it's really cute. So um, that's, the, that's where the little Charlie Brown Christmas tree came from. And then the little ornaments right here, we have, it came from the Winter Holiday set. And you've seen me use this one also. And so here's the two cute little ornaments. Now this one is a bundle you can get it so that you can cut out the deer and the trees and the snowflakes. Um, just a really nice stamp set um, along with the, um, the little dies to go with it. So it is a bundle. All right, so you're ready to get started. Let's bring in our grid paper and let's get to work. So the first thing I'm going to do, I cut my, I pre-cut all of my cardstock. Um, so we're going to work with the little white piece first. Now this is how fast this is. You can take and do multiple, multiple, multiple sets. Um, because that's what Christmas is about. We do our, our, um, our cards and we do them quite a bit at a time. So I'm just going to stamp down the Christmas tree. And then, so I did that with cocoa powder. And then I'm going to take some of our green olive because that's what I used for the saying. And I'm also going to use it for um, one of the little ornaments. So I have two different ornaments. I'm going to use them with um, two different colors. So first I will do the um, smaller of the two. And what I'm doing is just lining up this little piece right here with, with any branch that you want. All right, so let me just line that up. Let's start with this one right here. And because these are such tiny stamps you don't want to press down too hard all right so that is our um, that one is our green olive and I'm just gonna set that aside because I do need that one for the saying also and then what I'll do is the other little ornament I will do on a different branch and I will do that in the um, this one is called the um, cranberry bliss all right so and I do um, the layers are also matching all of the cardstock and that's what we just love about this is that the um, the cardstock and the inks and everything just all match perfectly. All right, so that's our Cranberry Bliss. Now let's just take and um, put these layers together with our simple, our, our Easy Glide here. All right, so we'll just add our layers. Um, and these are just put on um, straight on. They're not done with um, any pops yet, okay? But I will show you in just a moment what we're going to pop up. All right, so those are our layers. Now I'm just going to set it um, temporarily onto my cardstock so that I can do, I can kind of place where my words are going to go. So I'm going to take the Merry Christmas, I'm going to ink it up with um, the green olive. And let's just make sure that's all straight. I love my grid papers, okay? And you can purchase these. Grid papers are for sale, okay? And then I'm just going to line this up um, top to bottom with the word Merry Christmas. Press in the middle and we are good to go. Good. All right, now what I need to do is to add my ribbon. We'll get the green olive out of the way and I'm gonna add my ribbon. So if you've never added ribbon like this, um, it's pretty easy. You're just gonna take and you're gonna wrap it around the inside of the card and we're gonna bring it to the front. You don't need a whole lot. You don't even need it to match because, or to, you know, you save like about an inch on here because um, we're gonna hide it with the, uh, with the little um, uh, piece that we have stamped here. All right, so here is, let me just get that up a little bit farther, there we go. Okay, so now we have our ribbon on there. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is add some uh, glue dots. Okay, so these are our Journey Foam Squares. I'm gonna use the bigger ones and I'm only gonna use two of them. And that's what I love about these. You can actually use less, you get more for, for less amount of money and um, you just get more more for your money here. All right, and then we'll just add this to, I'm just not getting this straight here. There we go. Ah, perfect. All righty, and then just add your little piece like this, and we have a five-minute card, if I can just get everything straight. All right, so we've got this five-minute card that only took us five minutes. See? Aren't they adorable? 
So, again, hop on over to my blog if you want to know what stamp sets I used and how I, um, I got this to look as adorable as I did. But this is my little um, Charlie Brown Christmas tree card. Um, super cute. I think we could add a little bit of journey glaze and some dust on there. I think that would be adorable. So if you have any questions, you let me know. I'm here to help. Um, take care and have a great day.